California cities and counties soon will be able to count middle-income apartment conversions toward their affordable housing quotas under a bill governor. Gavin Newsom signed Tuesday, September 28. The workforce housing legislation was one of 28 housing bills Newsom signed Tuesday, the governor's office said. The measure, Assembly Bill 787, is expected to incentivize local governments to adopt an innovative missing middle program that converts market rate complexes into middle income housing in exchange for property tax breaks. Too many communities across California have become unaffordable for Ordino. This legislation will help to ensure that working people, including the nurses, teachers, firefighters and grocery workers who've helped us through the pandemic, can afford to live in the communities where they work and serve. Under the newly developed program, a quasi-public entity called the Joint Powers Authority issues tax-free bonds to buy apartment buildings, then limits future tenants to middle- and low-income residents and charges rent based on their income. The remaining third is reserved to residents earning less than 80% of the median income. On average, the rent amounts to 35% of the tenant's gross income. The buildings are freed from paying all property taxes for the life of the bonds, making it possible for operators to lower the rent. The city or county ends up owning the building once the debt is paid off. The program has been wildly popular with some cities in the Bay Area and in Los Angeles and Orange counties. So far, 30 relatively new apartment buildings have been converted into workforce housing. 26 of those conversions occurred during the past 10 months. Affordable housing advocates, city housing staff and at least one consultant have criticized the program as risky, questioning whether rent will cover management fees and maintenance costs and whether cities will acquire rundown buildings at the end of the program. Some critics also questioned whether rent reductions are sufficient to justify the cost to taxpayer. But allowing cities to claim conversions in their annual housing reports to the state could be a strong incentive to adopt such programs.